I told her, told her just what she said. We thank and praise God on the day. Everybody was just on what the Lord, has, the Lord was talking to me about. And I was like, okay, I guess I don't need to do this because they're doing it. <laughs> but we thank and praise God um, for the word of God. We thank and praise God for another opportunity. Amen. I want to say to this young lady, God has something special. Oh, yes, yes, yes. You are special yes. in God. Yes. God has something very special mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. Just keep on praising Him. I believe that. Watch what God is going to do in your life. Amen. For just a, 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 a few moments, um, just a short while. In the book of St. Luke, I listened to the Tiffany when she was praying. She was on the message. Then Evangelist Cole, she was on it. Then Apostle Grant, he jumped on it. And I was like, okay, I can just sit down and just let them go on today. Amen. But the, in the, the 15th chapter of the book of Luke, this is where God has directed me to go today. Amen. Thank you. Praise God for um, Brother Singletary and Amen. all of the fathers. I want to say happy Father's Day to you. Amen. Amen. If you have it, you can stand to your feet beginning at the 11th verse. Something in here we need to see. And it reads as follows, and a certain man didn't give him a name. All right. It said, and a certain man had two sons. And the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that falleth to me. And he divided unto him his living. And not many days after, the young, younger son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country. And there wasted his substance with riotous living. And when he has spent all, I'm calm with what you to stop and think about what's been said. There arose a mighty famine in that land. Not where he came from, in that land. And he began to be in womb. And when he and he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country. And he sent him into the fields to feed swine, hogs. And he would have fainted, having filled his belly with the husk that the swines did eat, and no man gave unto him. We want to skip from there and go further down to the 25th verse. I don't want to read all of this. The 25th verse, it says, Now his eldest son was in the field, and as he came and drew nigh to the house, he heard music and thanks. And he called one of the servants and asked what these things meant. And he said unto him, Thy brother is come, and thy father has killed the fattest calf because he has received him safe and sound. And he was angry and would not go in Therefore his father, remember that. Remember what the father did. Therefore his father came out and treated him. And he answered and said to his father, Lord, these many years do I serve thee. Wow. Neither transgressed at any time thy commandments, mm -hmm. and yet thou hast never gave me mm -hmm. a 
kid. And yet thou never gave me a kid. Thou that I might make merry with my friend. All right, you better tell it. But as soon as this son was come, <laughs> which had devoured thy living with hollow. Y'all know that means prostitution. Yes. Thou hast killed us for him the fattest calf. Oh. Damn what kind of calf he oh. not, not no poor one, the fattest. <laughs> the best thing we got. Right. And he said unto him, Son, thou art with me, or ever with me, and all that I have is thine. It was meant that we should be merry and to be glad, for thus thy brother was dead and is alive again. Amen. I want to talk from the subject, two spirits in one house. But I want to tag that with but Father knows best. Amen. Amen. Two spirit in one house. In one house. But Father knows best. Oftentimes when we see a family, there are families that have more than one children. But if you ever notice, there's always a difference between the children. Mm -hmm. Even sometimes when they're twins, some of them have different views of life. But they still live in the same house. This younger brother I love him. Even though he went out and left home and did some things that one might say wasn't necessary. But I love the fact that he came to himself. Yeah. Now I want to bring that to the church. I was looking at Patricia she was making chickens, and she washed the chickens to be ate. But after she washed the chicken, had you eat it before it was cooked, Come on now. it wouldn't have tasted so good. Uh -huh. That's right. But then up in the cabinet, there was some black pepper. There was some salt. Uh -huh. But the salt couldn't tell the pepper, I don't need you. And the pepper couldn't tell the salt, I don't need you. <laughs> she took the seasoning that she had and seasoned the chicken. But the thing was, it still wouldn't have tasted good because it hadn't been through the process. Come on. All right. I told you y'all talking on the message. <laughs> All right. And what happens in the church is that God has something good for us, yeah. but we don't go we don't through the process. process. That's right. That's right. After she done seasoned the chicken and left it in the bag to marinate, it still ain't good to eat mm -hmm. until it goes through the process. That's right. That's right. Sometimes you got to go through the fire. That's right. Your process is sometimes the fire or the heat of the fire that you have to go through. Later on when she go put it, a frying pan on the stove and turn it on. Then pour some crystal oil in it. Let that crystal oil get good and hot. Flour the chicken and drop it in there. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. When she pulled it out 
and you taste it, mm -hmm. it has pepper, salt, probably paprika, lemon juice, or whatever it is. All of those things are in the house. But the chicken doesn't come good until you put it together. We have intercessors in the house. Okay. We have prayer warriors in the house. We have teachers in the house. We have educated people in the house. We have people from all different backgrounds in the house. But if things go come together and it's gonna go smooth, you need everything that's in the house yeah. to make everything go out all right. right. I wish I had somebody here that understood. Yeah. There are some that might not make 3 a.m. prayer. Come on now. Hmm. But it doesn't mean that you can't still pray. Amen. 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 That's right. Amen. Amen. Now, Apostle Grant is the father in this house. Mm -hmm. So he sees everything that we go through. Yes. And some of the things he tells us, some of us turn up our nose. Wow. But remember, father knows best. Yes. Right. Yes. Wow. The young son took all that he had and he left home. Went to a far country. When he got in that country, he had a lot. You know, y'all know y'all got friends when y'all got a few coins in your pocket. But let all that money go. They'll love you to death as long as you got something to give them. But let it give up. Find out who your real friends are. When he lost everything, all the ones that were with him walked away from him. The Bible said nobody would give him anything. Mm -hmm. He didn't realize he had to go through the process. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> he had to go through a process to get back to where he belonged. Yeah. And see, sometimes we don't want to go through the process. But if you go eat that chicken raw, it ain't going to be so good. You're going to have stomach aches. You're going to have cramps. You can end up being sick, but if you let it go through the process, there is a process of elimination that we may have to go through. Down at the altar, some of them habits that you can't get rid of by yourself. Come on, preach. Preach, preach. Tell it. Down at the altar, some of those thoughts that go through your mind that you need to let go. Yeah. You got to eliminate that at the right place. Yeah. You got to go through the process in order to have genuine love on the inside. Yes, sir. I don't care how much you smile at me and tell me you love me. I ain't stupid. I know whether you love me or not. I may smile back at you and hug you, yeah. Or yesterday, where she at? Come here, baby. Come here. Come here. <laughs> On yesterday when we was finished the funeral, see, she know that I love her. <laughs> and I know that she loved me. She tried to knock her mother down to get to me. <laughs> Why? Because she know if she's with me, she's with love. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. She's with covering. Yeah. She was someone that genuinely cared. That's right. But what we do, we lie to one another and say we love you mm. when we know we really don't. Yeah. Right. Have mercy. Because we don't want to go through the process. Yeah. We don't want to stay on the altar until we are delivered from the things of the enemy. Yeah. And because of that, we have two spirits in one house. Wow. We have a spirit of love 
But then we have a spirit of destruction. We have a spirit of unity, but then we have a spirit of division. Two spirit, but in one house. And when the spirit of divided, see, first thing you got to know, God is not divided. Come on down. That's nope. right. He is not divided. And if you have the spirit of God in you, and you are divided, it ain't the spirit of the God that we serve. Amen. 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 God don't fight against himself. Mm -mm. When the house is together, mm -hmm. deliverance is in the house. See, you know when the house is together. Amen. Folks are getting delivered and set free. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, in the house, if deliverance ain't in the house, there's something wrong in the house. A spirit that don't need to be in the house is in the house. But I got a word for some of us. The Bible says one can chase a thousand. All right. And two could put 10,000 to yeah. a flight. If just one or two get together, right. whatever spirit that ain't like God, they we can chase it out the door or even have to get with it. Two spirits in one house bringing about a division. Mm -hmm. The young and the son gathered all in. He went and joined himself in a far country. Got out there and spent everything living right. Mm -hmm. But then when he lost all, see when you ain't got nothing, whatever somebody give you, you thank them. Yes, Lord. You may want steak, but if they ain't got nothing but fat back, that's all you got to eat. So now, he joined himself to a citizen of that country. And he sent him out to feed the hog. He was going through his process and didn't even know it. But when he got there, then God brought it back to him. What he had back home. And he came to himself. And he testified by saying, all of my father's servants have enough and more than enough. And here I am, perishing. Because I left home. Because I didn't want to do what daddy said do. I didn't want to do everything necessary. So I left home. So now he comes to himself. And he said, I will go to my, that's why I love him. He said, I will go to my father and I will say, Father, I have sinned against heaven. Notice what he said. He didn't say against the Father. Against heaven and in thy sight. I am no more worthy to be called your son, but make me one of your highest wow. yes, servants. Yes, yes, yes. And because this is Father's Day, that's right, I'm going to say something to the Father. A good and a real father don't care how bad your children do, you will always go in prayer for them. You will always be concerned about them. And you will always look for them even when they go. Amen. I'm sure that the father every day went out to the corner and looked down the road to see if he saw his son. Because he knew he had to come back home. Because what he had at home was better than what was out in the street. So he had to come back home. So the father would go out there and look. 
And the Bible said he saw his son afar off. Mm -hmm. I can imagine he started dancing. <laughs> Start dancing. He in his heart, he started dancing. Dead on my boy. Dead on my yes, boy. Yes. On. But what happened when you live such a bad life before your child that when they see you coming, they turn and go the other way? A father should be an example. One of the things I love about a good father, even if he was wrong, he would admit his wrong and get it right. That's part of being a good example. So what the father did, when he saw his son, his son came with the heart of confession. But the father ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. He wasn't thinking about what you did out there. All I'm concerned about is that you back home. Amen. You back in the place where you need to be. And he started confessing. I don't believe the father even let him finish his confession. He said, go get a robe and put on it. Wow. Not just any robe. A royal robe. Yeah. He didn't say a coat. He didn't say a sweater. He said a robe. Yeah. Then he said, and put a ring on his hand. Yes. Go kill the fatted cat. Don't get no poor one. Don't get one that ain't eating good. But go get the best thing we got out there and kill it. And let's make merry. Because my son yeah. was lost and is now found. Yeah. My son was dead yeah. and is now alive. Yeah. But then here's that other spirit that ain't got no business in the house. Uh -huh. He started telling the father what the son did, like the father didn't know. He knew what his son did. Yeah. He started telling, you didn't do this for me, and you didn't do that for me. You did it for him, but you didn't do it for me. <laughs> and that's what happened in the church uh -huh. when jealousy uh -huh. come in the church. Yeah. Yeah. The, the older son was jealous because the father it was his son. He got a right to receive his son. His father received his older son, and the older son was jealous. So what are you saying, Elder Benjamin? That chicken got good after it got seasoned. And they used everything in the house to make it right. Yeah. That thing tastes good after a while. Today, I'm eating some good chicken. <laughs> because it doesn't been seasoned right. And then it's going to go through the process. So I'm going to be all right. But it got to go through the process. And if we're going to be the church that they are fasting about, All right. the church that can produce things that happen on Azuzu Street. Yes, God. Yes, God. We got to go through the limit, the process of elimination. Everything that ain't like God, we got to let it go. All right. Everything. And there ain't no sense in thinking you can hide anything because the Bible said God mm -hmm. knows even the very thoughts yeah. in your mind. Yeah. 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 Everything you think, he knows it. Then when folks walk in the church, you don't have to be slamming them down on the floor and, and pushing them, cracking their neck. Most people go down the floor because you just snap their neck. But Jesus ain't never had to fuss with the devil to come out. All he did was spoke to him. We wrestled with him. Come out! Come out! Come out! Shaking them and throwing them on the floor, telling them to come out. All Jesus did was speak to him. If you have power, the enemy knows it. Oh, yeah. 
It was said on last week. When Jesus showed up, have you come to torment us before the time? The devil knows everyone in here that's real. And he knows everyone that's fake. And you know what he said when Jesus actually said, from which comest thou, Satan? He said, going to and fro, seeking who is weak. Who is saying they got it and don't have it. Yes. That's all he said. When he said going to and fro, seeking who I may devour, all he could say is going to see who, I, who is weak. Who is professing, but not possessing. Mm. And you can profess and don't possess, he gonna show you up. Oh yes, he He will show you up when you least expect it. But two spirits in one house. But father knew best. So father went out and he talked to the older son. And he told him, listen, what are you upset about? Everything that I own is yours. Everything. If that son didn't come back, it would have still been yours. Amen. What are you upset about? Yeah. And that's what happens in the church sometimes. When there's two spirits in the house. We come in the church with a jealous spirit. Mm -hmm. And we don't get to give God the glory that he deserves. Mm -hmm. And I say to you today. The day is a day of deliverance. Amen. On yesterday when I went to the funeral, God gave me a word and I, I spoke the word. And Andrew, uncle, when I got to shake his hand, he won't let my hand go. And I, I'm trying to get away from him, he won't let my hand go. So he said to me, he says, I should have just stood up because you was talking to me. He said, I need to be saved. Jesus. He said, I can't go back out this door and, 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 and um, and go back the way I was. He said, I ain't living right. I need to be saved. He said, I refuse to go another day living there. He said, when I walk out this door, I'm walking out a different person. I will not walk back out this door and walk the way I was walking. He said, I will not do that. I'm not angry because you said what you said. He said, I thank you for saying it because it brought me, brought me to awareness that I need to be saved. Amen. Mm -hmm. yes. And when he got to the door to go out, he grabbed my hand again and he won't let me go. <laughs> and when he got to the cemetery, he came to me again. Broken. When we become broken, then we can become one spirit. Yes, yes, yes. One spirit. See, they said, Hump the Dumpty fell off the wall. Hump the Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses, all the they couldn't put it back together again. You know why they couldn't put it back together? Because when he fell, he was destroyed. But anything broken can be put back together. It can be fixed. But in order for something to be destroyed, it first got to become broken. All right. All right, good teacher. So if you can become broken, everything that needs to be destroyed can and will be destroyed. Amen. And we'll be a house with one spirit yeah. and not two. Amen. 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 And see, God is working in here. All y'all know God is working in here. She come in here every Sunday morning now with a smile. <laughs> like she glad to be here. Yeah. And you know something? Even though the enemy trying to get out, she can't go back. Amen. Because God already planted a seed. A seed been planted. Amen. Amen. She can't go back Amen. if she want to go back. Amen. Everybody in here can leave. She won't go back. She's shaking her head. Yeah, you're right, you're right. I know I'm right. She, said she just said it to her mother-in-law. And this is what it's all about. What do, you, what do you give a hungry man? 
What do you give a hungry woman when they come to you and you ain't got nothing? Amen. Amen. What do you give a lost soul when they come to you and you ain't got nothing? Amen. You ain't got nothing to give Amen. because you didn't get nothing. Amen. And if you don't put nothing in the bank, you can't withdraw nothing out. Every time you go to insufficient funds, insufficient funds. But when you don't put something in there, you can go with confidence. Oh, yeah. Every time you go to put your card in, you shake it. Lord, I hope I got something. I hope it's going to come back. That's because you know you haven't been put nothing in. But if you put something in, you can go there with no doubts that you can get something out. And if we put in this house what deserve and need to be in this house, we don't have to worry about walk through that door. That's right. Because when they walk out, there's gonna be a change. Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. I wanted to preach this morning. God told me to just talk. Amen. Everybody, everybody done been all over the message. I said, okay, God, let them go ahead on. In fact, I want the pastor to keep on going. Amen. I would have just sat back there. Me, brother, singing there, we're doing all right. He, got, he had that look. I said, okay, I'll pick it up. You go right on my way. So what happened is good. What he wanted me to do, he did. Amen. Amen. It was up to me whether I was going to follow or not. So when I follow, I look at it, he put a smile on his face. I said, okay, I'm doing what he wants me to do. <laughs> <laughs> what happened if God smiled because he doing, you doing what he wants you to do? Amen. Yes. Amen. The sound came. The sound came together. The sound came together because it was on one accord. That's right. Amen. Once That's right. And that's what God is looking for. One spirit in one house, yeah. not two spirits. That's right. One accord. When we get on one accord, there ain't nothing, nothing. All things are possible when we get on one accord. Yeah. One accord. Yeah. And this is what God gave me this morning. One accord. Do you know, you know you know people are looking for you? People are looking for you. Because you got to lead them to Christ. God is holding you responsible for everybody you come in contact with. Because you know too much is given, much is required. So he's given you much of him. That means he required much of you. Yeah. Hallelujah! I see that. I see it. Yes. Yes. Young women. Yes. Young men. It will come because of you. The walk that you have in Christ will lead them to Christ. And when you lead them, because you planted a seed in them, then who knows whether it be Evangelist Grant, Evangelist Coley, Evangelist Davis, Evangelist Williams, Evangelist Garvin, Evangelist Grant. <laughs> Because we work together, God will give the increase. Amen. 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 All right, Apostle. <laughs>